your alleyway. All right, pulling up and holding short of the alleyway for Brickyard 4464. Thank you, American 2633. Left turn on Juliet, 180 back on Aquila behind the 170. I'll get you in as soon as these guys come out. Left turn on Juliet and uh, Aquila, 2633. Just a 180 back on Aquila, right behind that 170, and you'll, you'll, you can... Uh, Uh, taxi into your gate in sequence when he taxis in. Okay, and uh, copy all that, American 4574, uh, spot 4 ready for taxi. Pick up 4574, runway 1, taxi Juliet, short of runway 4. Juliet, short of runway 4, for runway 1, and uh, Brickyard 4574. Break out 4587, continue down November for me, make a right turn at Kilo, hold short runway 33 for departing and landing traffic. Your gate is occupied, and I'm going to have to switch over there on the block of runway 19. Uh, November, right turn Kilo, short 33, break out 4587. Thank you, American 1745, runway 1, taxi Juliet, short of 4. Juliet, short of 4 for runway 1, American 1745. And I'll tell you what, Breakout 4587, take it down to Sierra, November, and then hold uh, hold short of Taxiway Sierra on November, uh, and that way I can get that guy uh, back across. All right, uh, so November, we'll be short of Sierra on November, Breakout 4587. American 1745, runway uh, 1, Taxi, Juliet, short of runway 4. Juliet, short of runway 4, American 1745. Thank you. And Brickyard, uh, my Brickyard here holds toward the 4464. You're clear cleared in when traffic comes out. All right, cleared in to 36 after the American is out. Brickyard 4464. Brickyard 4634. You're giving way to two guys coming into the alleyway now. I've got Company 170 and then, in the, and then a Company Airbus coming out and uh, are also coming in. And then you're cleared back to spot four. All right, cleared to spot four after one out and one in up to the Airbus Brickyard, uh, 4634. Yeah, it's two out. I said it wrong. It's, uh, I'm sorry, two in. I need to go home, I think. It's two coming in, and uh, then here's way to push back to spot four. All right, two in, and then uh, spot four for Brickyard, 4634. We have 74, give way to company opposite direction there. Just hold short at Foxtrot. Um, he'll join Kilo at Foxtrot, and then you can continue Juliet and hold short of four. Oh yeah, we'll uh, hold short of Fox for the for a giveaway for 4574. Breaking 4329, continue Juliet, and at Fox Trot, join Kilo, and what gate are you going to? It's got to be 27, uh, Juliet, Fox Trot, Kilo. Okay, yeah, Juliet, Fox Trot, Kilo, and then hold short of the alleyway. Uh, Juliet, Fox Trot, Kilo, we'll hold short of the alleyway, break up for your 329. Ground, please, straight 5559, request pushback 35 echo. 5359, I think that was, or, or uh, 5559. You're cleared back to spot 9. Spot 9, please take 5559. 5559, okay. American 545, 
You can cross runway 33 on Kilo and hold short of your alleyway company, or they're just pushing off your gate now. Thirty-five hotel. You can push back to spot eleven. Who was that? Fifty-five sixty-eight. Thank you. Uh, be careful there. Forty-nine forty-eight. Uh, Fifty-five sixty-nine forty-nine. Hold short of taxiway Sierra. What gate did you say? Should have Sierra and for oh well, now it's gate seventeen Brickyard fifty nine forty nine. Okay, okay, I'll get to there in just a second. Brickyard forty five eighty seven, make a right turn at Sierra, cross runway three three, into the block of runway one nine. Just take the far north corner, square it up face the eastbound. When your gate comes open, we'll get to there. All right, uh, Sierra cross three three, uh, block of nineteen, and we'll face eastbound. Brickyard forty five eighty seven. AC forty three ninety four left in at Juliet and continue Juliet to uh, your uh, to gate ten. It looks like. Okay, let's turn Juliet to 10, AF, IAC, 4329. Breakout 4329, continue up Kilo, please, all the way short of your alleyway. Kilo short of the alleyway, breakout 4329. Breakout 4574, cross 4, monitor tower on the other side, good night. All right, uh, cross 4, monitor tower on the other side, breakout 4574, we'll see you. Well, I'll tell you what, that is a busy ground airport. <coughs> Ronald Reagan. That's where we're at, Ronald Reagan. Washington, D.C. All right, Terminal Bravo, Gate 19. Zero fuel weight, one twenty nine two, one twenty nine two fifty eight six zero four. Get the fuel started. So I 
need a 5.1. I'll start that fueling process. Um, Passengers. And I left in there at seven six one six fifty eight six oh four. <coughs> Zulu going to JFK. Let's file that away. Connect to the VETSIM network. Should start getting some airplanes populating. Turned out there's one right on top of us. I hate when that happens. I can't really move. I could, but I'm not going to. It's coming on. Gens available. So let's run off APU.
We are at B19. Thirty-eight fifty-one one. It's actually right. Seven seven two five. Now that one's right. Seven seven two five. A line on ref. Hey Jake, I was just about to text you. I was just, you didn't really need to see the setup, so I just wanted to show you the city. Obviously we're not using real time, because I wanted to, uh, I just got a, got a pre-departure clearance. Anyway, so uh, here's uh, Trump's plane. I thought that's pretty funny, especially since I turned on the news and you probably saw the news if you're watching TV with your wife. They're having that uh, Trump thing where they're trying to bounce them out. <laughs> uh, so I don't care to watch any of that, that's for sure. Um, so let's give you the tour. So first, I'll show you the airport. Let me come up here a little bit. Mm. Let me move over this way, probably easier. I think the Pentagon is on this side too. So this is uh, Ronald Reagan Airport. And then the Pentagon, oh, there's the Pentagon. And then you got the, what is that called? The monument? Is it just the Washington Monument? So you got, uh, let me come over here. We'll just, we'll start down here. I think this is the, uh, the Lincoln Memorial down here. You probably know way more, you, or not probably, you know way more about this area than me. Washington Monument, that's right. So this is, what, the Lincoln? Yeah. So he's in there. It's pretty cheap looking, but he's in there. And then you have all these Capitol buildings. Actually, the Capitol. The Capitol's on the left, I think. I know the White House is over here. Oh, you can actually go inside the White House. So that's the Capitol building. That's right. Go across the river. Oh, that other side? Okay, I'll do that in just a second. Let me show you the uh, oval, I mean, uh, the uh, West Wing, which is really kind of cool. So here's his chopper. And you can come in here, and now you're, uh, you can be the president <laughs> before he's impeached. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool, though. Melina, yeah. Yep, that's his wife in there. Oh, those traffic lights, I never even knew that. Oh, and they turn colors. That's cool. That guy just ran a red light. I guess we need to write him a ticket. Um, so let's continue down. Let's go down here to the Capitol building. So what's that, Jake? It's like a freaking castle.
Oh, it's a museum? Oh, okay. It's like a stadium, a sports stadium? Doesn't look like a stadium. We got the Capitol building. This is, uh, isn't this where the House and the Senate meets? So like the House is on one side and the Senate's on the other or something? I am not political at all. I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> Very little. Yep. Oh, that's the Science Museum? That round one? That's cool. And then um, there's a little, oh, there's a stadium. What does that say? It looks like it's backwards. Maybe it's Washington. Redskins? Is that what that is? I don't know. That looks like a big stadium out there, though. Nationals? That oh, was backwards? Okay. So which one's this? They have a lot of stadiums here. And then, uh, eh, there's another stadium out there. That's crazy. Well, there's a uh, Air Force base, I think, where the Air Force One sits. Soccer. It's the old RFK stadium. Oh, okay. Not used anymore. It's where the Redskins played out there. Nice. So, did you want me to go on that side of the river? Or, or am I on the right side now? I think that's where Air Force One sits. It's going to take a minute to go out there. You work on the other side, the big building? Are you uh, Air Force One is south? I think that's the direction I'm heading right now. This pan doesn't work super fast, but it's got all the ortho scenery for the Washington area. So is your office building Andrews Air Force Base? That's right. You've seen it in person? That'd be cool. So do you work closest to the uh, Ronald Reagan Airport? You live or work on that side of the river? Because I'll jump over there again. I can just go to my uh, tower view and I'll snap right back over there. I just I think Air Force One is parked down here. Yep. Yep, here's Air Force One. There's actually two of them. Alright. So there's Air Force One. It's Andrew's Air Force Base. Oh, well. I guess this was a museum. That's the original Air Force One, or the first one. Did some work there a few years back. For VP, cool. Is there anything on this side over here that you want to see before I flash back to the tower view? That'll put me right right back over there. It's pretty rural, yeah. All right, so back over here. All right, so you work close to the Pentagon, like left, right, up, or down from the Pentagon. Look, I don't know which way north is. Let's just say up, down, left, or right. Oh, this city? So we'll cruise up here. 
The city just up there, okay. We'll see if we can see your office building. Looks like low income housing in this. That looks like low income housing. Actually, this all does. This does. This is Main City. The bridge there. It's not a very good bridge, but so that's where you work, huh? Cost of fortune, oh, I bet. So what's this one? If that's the, that's the Lincoln. So is that like George Washington or something? I'm the building right on the left of the bridge. This one? I'm in the building, the tall one. Oh, you must be talking about over here. So you're in one of these buildings. And that one was the Kennedy Center? Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. It goes to Popo. Oh, that was fun. Interesting seeing your city from a simulator point of view, huh? Yeah, I would love that. Susie would love to check out Washington. Um, her daughter, you know, there she's a history major and she's a history teacher. So she's been up there. She's been to all the museums and everything. Her daughter. Every plane flies right by your windows. Wow. Sit on the 20th floor and see them all land. It's worth going to. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I definitely, that's definitely on my bucket list. I want to get up there. I've never been to Washington, D.C. I've driven around it on 95, but I've never been in the main city. Got a pre departure clearance. So this is my pre departure clearance. So I have to maintain five thousand. That's probably per the SID. This is the same. Agard, Donald, Victor 229, and then Pansy, and then Victor 44 to Carmen, direct. Um, let's see. Same invite to you guys. You guys have a basement with a bed? Yeah, we're not, we're not picky. Anything better than a hotel. I bet the hotels there are like super expensive. It's because there's so much business that takes place there. Uh, what's my code? 2137. Yeah, the hotels are just crazy. OK. 
Okay. So we are clear to 21,000 feet. And... I don't know, let's get ATIS, that would probably be helpful. Oh no, they went offline. Seriously? The vets and people, the ATC guys, went offline. Oh well. I'm not gonna worry about that. Alright, so we're gonna have take off at runway one and be the doctor four a guard transition usually these guys start at seven so I guess I saw them on earlier but I just thought they were getting things done, like getting there early, but apparently they cut out early too, but it's alright, there's, uh, there's still some ATC guys at JFK, but I don't care, I do a ATC every day, this is about the scenery. Alright, A guarded then Don, D-O-N-I-L. And then from Don, we go Airways, Victor 229. And that lets off at P A N Z E. Alright, 229. Then pans to Victor forty four. Uh, where's V? Victor forty four. And that lets out on Carm. C no Cameron. C A M R N R N. And now uh, plan two two left. All right, so now we get our winds. Program in the uh, airplane weight. It's fifty eight six. 28-2. I'm going to be like, Fiverr, what's up, bud? Your people left at 7. They're supposed to start at 7. 5.1. Actually. I'll do that. Perf, knock that down to 500 AGL. Alright, so that's good. 200. 10. Flight plan is good. Need to see any performance. So we're gonna do DCA, get the weather. Uh, temperatures. I'm showing one. I'm showing thirty oh nine. Eighty. 
it's really gusty. 17 to 27. Yeah. Take off weight. 61 That's your takeoff weight 61, 604 So what do you do, Jake, in that big building? Like, like what, are the, what is that job? What do they do there? Back over here. Takeoff weight 135, 813. Consultant. Oh, that's right. That's right. So we're going to take off runway 16869007. Sixty-five. The flex temperature one thirty-four. Sixty-five one thirty-four. I need to get some. I think they're called stingers or something for the stream. So when I click between scenes, it will have a smooth transition. Um, I'm gonna get something like that soon. Right, so perf is one thirty four. It was uh, one thirty five for V two and sixty five. Did you see you should also look, Jake, at the the new Matt Wagner video that came out YouTube. Um it's a Christmas sale, but the main thing about the video is it shows the reworked A10 cockpit for DCS, and it's freaking insane good. It looks so good. But I'm waiting till after Christmas to do any VR. Let's turn on these fuel pumps. We'll start at 5,000. Have to dust off the joystick, yeah. Yeah, because you, I think you have the A10. That was the first one that I got when I got into DCS was the A10. And then we got the P51. I don't think you got the P51. Maybe you did. I don't remember. Um, but the A10 is what my first plane, then the 51, and then the Hornet. And my main friends that I fly with on DCS, they both have the Viper as well. So I need hydraulics to bump that up. 3,000. All right, so we're good. APUs, it's good. Got a basic joystick. Yeah, I, I have just like a $20 one that I've been using for years, just a Satec piece of junk, but it's losing its center, so it's kind of irritating. I'm gonna have to get a new joystick eventually. Um, this sim, I have a yoke. I just like the general aviation yoke. 
because it totally different feel than using a stick that has all axis control. With this one, you have to use you have to pull back and turn to the left. Where on a stick, you just go back at a 45 degree angle, and it does the same thing. So this is. And the funny thing is that the Airbus flies with a stick, but I like the uh, the yoke better. So let's check the charging system. Yeah, yours is bad too. You know, another thing I'm gonna uh, play with the joystick is the uh, Elite Dangerous. Of course, I'm waiting for after Christmas, but I bet the Elite Dangerous is going to look incredible with uh, the new headset. Close. There we go. make it realistic. Real time and night. Ground to cockpit. Client acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. All of your gear is falling apart. Yeah. So it happens when we don't replace it after years. I think I've had the same joystick for... God, it's got to be 10 years. I've been using that same joystick. This, this yoke is only a year old. It's not even that old, I don't think. This yoke's probably like six months old. But yeah, that Satec joystick, it's got to be 10 plus years. It's pretty, pretty pitiful. Although now when I take off, I'll know I'm flying over your building, your business building every every time. <laughs> At least on this departure, it should fly me right over your office building. Because it, it's a restricted airspace over the, you know, the monument. Like, no airplanes are allowed to fly on that side of the river. It's probably like a one, you know, one by one mile block that no one's allowed. I can probably show you that restricted airspace. Um, I mean, there's always a, a restricted security restriction, always. But, uh, let me see. Yeah. So this is the restricted area right in here. So... When I take off, I'm going to be going off to the left, so I'm going to fly right over your business. So no one's allowed to fly over this area.
Nah. is weird. Hard is not the yoke. That was my uh, throttle. The throttle quadrant's getting a little worn. Uh, it's a Satec, uh throttle quadrant. It's got three axes and like six buttons. Looks like tower's still on. Operation so. complete. Set parking brake. Taxi via Juliet, uh, cross runway 4 and Juliet, I'll tell her 3013 and also verify squawk and let's see. Got, um, what did I say the squawk was? 2137. instructions I just gave you. Runway 1, taxi via Juliet, cross runway 4 at wow. Juliet, altimeter 3013, and verify your squawk in mode C. Uh, United 605, uh, taxi 2, hold point runway 01, via Juliet, crossing runway 04, and continue Juliet, mode squawk, Charlie. Um, what am I looking for? Trim. Twenty seven point six up point two That's one notch of flaps trim point two up so right about there. nightmare I'm trying to taxi at this place.
Uh, ATIS is uh, 132.65. Oh, it's disconnected. I'm bypassed and has been removed. Hand signal on the right. Firecraft on freeway information. Kilo there. is current. I'll turn it 3013. Kilo, huh? Saves me the trouble. Alright, so we do flight control check. Speed brakes, rudder. Cargo heat. Terminal Bravo. All right. Washington ground, United 1399, Terminal Bravo, current with Kilo, ready to taxi. United 1399, Washington Tower, good evening. Uh, thank you for Kilo. Uh, just a moment to the flight. Uh, expect one seven thousand for your top altitude. And plan for one seven thousand. Uh, United thirteen ninety nine. United thirteen ninety nine. Uh, you ready, said you're ready to taxi. Is that correct? Uh, a firm. United thirteen ninety nine runway one taxi via Juliet. Cross runway four at Juliet. Runway 1 at Juliet, cross runway 4 at Juliet, United 1399. 1 at Juliet, where the... Alright, so Juliet is... looks like straight out. 9605 Washington Tower, wind 28015, gust 27, runway 1, clear for takeoff. 9605, runway 01. Alright, so Juliet straight ahead. Juliet's up here. Somewhere. And yeah. need to use the landing lights to even see because the pavement's so dark. Alright, here we go. Now I'm on Juliet. Just make the left hand turn there. Uh, I mean, I'm not a radar controller, so I can't really give you headings and all that stuff. I could kind of help you out, but uh, just make a left turn and then join the river. Go south a few miles and then make a left hand turn, join the river. Roger, we'll start hitting a, a 
turn left and head to 200. That should make us turn exactly 180 degrees and go down the river. No, thank you. No, 605, uh, Washington area traffic uh, roughly to your 10 o'clock, uh, about five miles. It's a Boeing uh, right, 737. Right, one. It's going to be going uh, currently westbound now. Should be a factor. You get a monitor advisor, 122.8 with green night. No, 605, traffic inside. Monitor uh, Unicorn, 122.8. Have a nice control. Goodbye. Tower, wind 28015, gust 27, runway 1, clear for takeoff. Runway 1, clear for takeoff, United 1399. Alright. Southwest 2276, just turn left like 160, 150-ish. Definitely a difference uh, between vet sim and uh, 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 cottage. Uh, the, the winds are so if the winds are uh, like northbound or 280, for example, we're going to be landing northbound. You know, uh, we just it's really based off the winds. Um, if you try to land south, I mean, it just wouldn't work. It's just not safe. Yeah, it's not explanatory. Yeah, we appreciate that. Thank you. Even for an hour line, you can look at the anus. Um, there is an anus generated. It's crazy. Uh, Crosswind takeoff. Right, so I'm gonna right pitch the to the left as soon as I take right off. Right. It's gusty too. Alright, let's not go too far. Alright, gear up. Yeah, these winds are crazy. Just following the lines. So we'll be flying over your building here. You know, 1399 Washington Tower. Uh, Frequency change advisory is approved. Have a great night. Over to Unicom, United 1399. We'll see you, bud. See you. Uh, let's turn these back on. We'll turn There you go, I'm flying over your uh, office building right now. Southwest 2276. Go ahead. Uh, the river is to your uh, 9 o'clock. Actually, now you're turning left, so it's going to be around uh, to your 10 o'clock, uh, about a mile or two. You see it? Yeah, we got in. I got it in my, uh, my uh, SMC team. I got an ILS approach going in right now, so. Uh, Yeah, it's pretty cool Good. view. Yeah, that works. Uh, or you can always do the visual. I always enjoy the visual stuff. It's pretty fun. Roger, we'll go ahead and do that visual approach for runway one nine or one. Not All right, the gear is up. Just a, just a caution. You're on three thousand seven hundred, so I, I would re uh, reduce the altitude significantly. Going all the way up. He amended my altitude, but. I don't have to listen to him.
like New York Center 12532. Get a little bit closer and then we'll reach out to New York Center. Because this is where I'm at. Um, so that tower guy I was talking to, he's only responsible for the ground just taking off. There is no approach, only tower. So that's me. So my flight plan kind of takes me out here. So I'm not going to be talking to Philadelphia. So I'm not going to be talking to anybody until I cross this path. Because, like I said, the flight plan takes me around. Then I'll contact uh, New York Center on 125.32, and then we'll, looks like Tower 19.1 is on for JFK, but these guys might even sign off before I get there. That's that's the downside for this uh, online network is this this network is totally free, but there's no guaranteed of uh, there's no guarantee of ATC unless there's a uh, some sort of event going on but so you can like click on the plane and it'll tell you the route that I'm on and shows you my current altitude everything is pretty cool and this is totally free We'll land in New York and uh, I'll show you what the Big Apple looks like. You've probably been to New York a bunch of times because you're pretty close to New York. Oh, looks like they're changing their runway configs. Looks like they are landing probably 3 1 right. Go to standard at 18,000. Yeah, it's not too far. I've never been there either. I grew up in Pennsylvania, but I never really did any traveling. And I, I left Pennsylvania when I was 22. That's when I joined the military. I've been in Florida ever since, so I don't really travel that much, but there's a bunch of places, especially out west. I want to go to like California, Washington State, and Oregon, because I fly so much out there on Pilot Edge. I think you need to see it in real life. you finish the, um, the Call of Duty campaign? Did you finish it yet? I think I'm on like mission 8 or 9. Sidetracked by Red Dead.
change the runway to three one right. Decision altitude is 200. That's fine. Temperature minus two, that's Celsius. It's 28 Fahrenheit. Wow, it's really cold up there. You can have that. It's uh, 360 at zero. Do a wind update. Ninety five minus two, three sixty uh, zero. Adis for Kennedy is 128.72. The airport Adis information echo 0130 Zulu special. Visibility 2. Runway 04 right RVR 4 south. Variable with greater than 6 south. Light snow. 4 right. Southbound with south 500. Billy 2300 broke. 3,500 over 10. Temperature minus 2. 2 point minus 5. Temperature 2, 9 or 9 or 7. Approach and use by left runway 3 1 right. Alright, that makes sense. Left runway 3 1 left. 3 1 right. Yeah. Runway 3 1 left. CPDLT operation. Burn activity to send the airport. Numerous freight operating at JFK Airport. Operate for Ponder on both Charlie on Opec to Edmund Runway. Brief make no runway, both short instruction. Advise on initial contact. You'll have information echo. Kennedy Air Force Native Information Echo Zero. 3 1 right. Landing altitude is 13. As long as this is within 75, we're good. And 
just loading in a bunch of scenery right now. The tools I have for the ATC for VATSIM is the these. I've got VATTASTIC and then as a backup I have uh, this thing. So you just type in the airport and it'll give me all the frequencies and it shows us as an arrival right here at Kennedy. So that's This is my, my uh, weather injector. So this is the weather at Kennedy. I have it highlighted. So this is updating my weather in the simulator every, every 10 minutes. So I'm flying in real world weather. Ground speed is 518 knots. We are hauling some butt. That's like 700 miles an hour. We have a uh, tailwind, which is why I usually fly north because the jet stream is always. Uh, if we were flying in the 30,000s, we'd have a uh, tailwind of over 100 knots. And then our ground speed would be like probably 500 and uh, what? 520, 30, 530 knots. All right, I'll be coming into New York Center here soon. 2532, let's see if he sends me a, a message, probably not. Be on the ground uh, 0 to 20. So that's 20 minutes I'll be on the ground. Give or take a minute or two, depending on if he has a vector me. He won't have to vector me a whole lot. There's not a whole lot of planes around JFK right now. use this VOR as uh, a location. So ACY that would be Atlantic City. We're flying over Atlantic City right now. That's cool.
There goes New York Center calling me. Switch over to New York Center. 2532. Good evening, New York Center, United 1399, five level 210. United 1399, New York Center, good evening, squawk ident. United 1399, ready to contact, you send a maintain flight level 180. Send and maintain for over 180, United 1399. And uh, United 1399, let's do this actually. Uh, descend now, flight level 180, then cross camera and maintain 11,250 knots. The Kennedy altimeter 2995. Cross camera at 11,000 at 250 knots, 2995, United 1399. Cameron. Uh, American 329, uh, Bradley isn't taking a handoff just yet. Um, altitude is to your discretion. I'll let you know if you, uh, if he takes it. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, thanks, American 1, 2, 3.95, you have a good night. 3, 1, right, 1, 5. Oh, that's the wrong one. Duh. Let's just change that, shall we? 2, 3, 1, right. New York Center, Comanche November 4, 2, 1, Juliet has Stewart Field in sight. Comanche 1, November, Juliet, clear vision approach, runway uh, 2, 7. Should be one 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 five three fourteen. Okay. Two J F K three one right fifty miles. Approach uh, 128. I'm sorry, can you repeat the last United 13? Yeah, United 1299, 
we'll see up. Comanche, one November Juliet, wind. New York approach, United 13, line of 9, 1, 1000, current with echo, because ILS 3, 1, right approach. having to restart uh, all right so I'm gonna want three one right um, multi radio in Less. Five by five, United thirteen ninety nine, thank you. United thirteen ninety nine, descend wind ten four thousand, expect ILS three one right. Descend to four thousand, expect ILS three one right, United thirteen ninety nine. It's light snow, great. <laughs> Activate that, the 200 decision altitude.
knowing at JFK. Does JFK have a tower? Yes, 19-1. So the tower will clear me to land. This guy will clear me the approach. This runway is 10,000 feet. Lapse three. It's actually runway landing distance, 8,400, so that's fine, but it's, it's actually, it's, it's, uh, snowing, that's right, I still have enough time to land, or to stop, rather. United 1399, 13 miles from Zulab, turn left heading 340. Descend, maintain 3000 until established on the localizer. Clear ILS and with three one right approach. Left turn heading 340, maintain 3000 until established on the localizer. Clear ILS 3, three one right approach, Jedi 1399. Radial in, and we'll grab the uh, ILS. The minimums are 200. I think I already put that in there. Yep. approach, uh, climb to 1,000, then climb into 4,000 on a left turn to the CRA-I-VOR. 
and hold. That's about. United 1399, contact Kennedy Tower, 119.1. Over to Kennedy Tower, 19.1, United 1399, we'll see you. Kennedy Tower, United 1399, established, all right, will be established on a local as 3 one right? United 1399, Kennedy Tower, you said 3-1 right? Affirmative, 3-1 right for United 1399. Three one right, clear to land, United thirteen then. Unit thirteen ninety nine. I vectored me wrong for this ILS. That's okay. Two thousand five hundred. It's all good. Work it out. Set this for 4,000 for missed approach. So be 1,000 and then left turn to 4,000. Here comes the snow. Typing and make sure I did. Yeah, that was set already. Okay. It's really gusty, but it's right down the runway. So I'm going to leave it at uh, flaps three. Do config three. One thousand. When it's this windy, you want to land um, with configuration flaps three. If I add in another thing of flaps, it will uh, make me a gigantic sail. I guess airplanes Three, are anyway. One, huh? right. Hundred above, three hundred. Auto powered off, my plane. 
minimum 200. It's definitely gusty. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, 20, 10, 5. It's not one to land. That's hilarious. There we go. I'm glad it's crosswind's not too worse, too much worse. from here for United 13. Uh, I'll just go to the one in front of me. Looks like with a terminal seven, United 13. Then. Uh, Victor to the ramp. You have a good night. Thanks, United 13. Then. All right, so Victor is over here. This thing on. Super slippery here. Storm. <laughs> Bonus. Right. Yeah, this guy was wanting me to land on two seven. He's like, what do you say? 2-2 two, two left is in my favor. I'm like, no, it's not. The winds are 3-1-0, gusting to 27. So I was like, I think 3-1 is better. That's why I ended up on 3-1. I'm glad I didn't go the other way. And then he said the approach messed up. I'm like, no. No. But it's all right. We have the final say. The pilot does. Well... If it's a safety issue, which that would have been. I'll declare an emergency if I had to with that kind of winds. I'm not going to do a, a land with a 30 knot crosswind. That would be silly. Alright, so let's turn off these lights. Do it, yeah. Well, if he was trying to, because he asked me in the message, here, I'll show you. Well, I'm, I don't know. I'm not going to embarrass him anymore because his name is on this, but he, um, 
he was trying to get me to land on uh, a different. Here, I'll show you. Uh, so he asked me if I wanted to land on two two right, but. Where's the wind? So the winds are 300 zero zero at 18, gusting to 23. Of course, I was, I'm was i showing gusting to 30. So I landed on 3-1 right. He was asking me if I wanted to land on 2-2 two two left. Well, that would have been a ridiculous crosswind. So if he was like ordering me to land on this one, then I just would have said, nope, not with a 30 knot crosswind. So I, he just messed up and was possibly looking at the uh, the winds incorrectly. But we're in a snowstorm. Can't really see the city from here, it's too overcast. Should have landed at LaGuardia. Do a replay here once this shuts down. There's quite a few people. I thought I saw some people. And there's one guy. There's two. All right, so I'm gonna sign offline because you don't want to do a replay and pop back up in the sky. ATC doesn't like that. Do it from a passenger's point of view because I can't see anything really from a tower. cargo area back there.
Oh, well, that was a good flight. Thanks, Jake, for hanging out with me tonight and the rest of you guys. I was able to do some uh, traveling via the sim to see where Jake lives <laughs> or works. All right, bud, I'm going to take off. I can't sit here any longer. Catch you next time. Hey. <laughs>